Ikeos Compound. Electrolysis of Ikeos Compound. We have established earlier what Ikeos means. It means that you have a solution form, okay? Electrolysis of Ikeos Compound. It means you have solution and water is present, aqua, water is present, okay? And we have said that when you have electrolysis of aqueous compound, you are going to have four words, four ions, four ions, okay? You're going to have four words, four ions, good. So in electrolysis of aqueous compound, the splitting is going to be different while the discharge of ion is going to be different. But they're still going to follow the same steps, splitting, migration, discharge of ion. Splitting, migration, discharge of ion. Splitting, migration, and what? Discharge of what? Of ion. So let's see what, what, what will, will, will differ, okay, in this particular um, electrolysis of what? Of aqueous uh, compound. Let's see what will differ there. So let's choose a particular aqueous, uh, a particular aqueous compound. Let's take um, electrolysis of say dilute, electrolysis of dilute sodium chloride. Yeah, let's take sodium chloride. Electrolysis of dilute what? Dilute sodium uh, chloride. So for dilute sodium chloride, so that should be example three now. Okay, example three. Example three. We'll look at dilute electrolysis of dilute sodium or sodium chloride. That is aqueous. Okay. Good. So, the first thing is splitting, step one. Split, okay. So what is gonna split now? We we'll have sodium chloride, okay. Aqueous, aqueous means it is dissolved. And in this case now they say it is dilute. Dilute, that means you have a lot of water water there. And when it comes to electrolysis of aqueous compound, please, you need to check out the word they use. Is it electrolysis of concentrated or electrolysis of dilute? Whether concentrated or dilute, it means it is still aqueous. That means solute in solvent to form solution. But when they say it is dilute, it has implication on which ions will be discharged. So we'll look at the implication later. So we'll do electrolysis of dilute sodium chloride we we'll also do electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride, and I will tell you the difference and the implication for the, for the two of them. So let's split this one first. What is it going to split to? It says, um, do application to um, sodium? You're going to split into? Yeah. So chlorine. Okay, so it splits chloride. You say chloride. Chloride. Yes, yeah, split into chloride. Aqueous. Okay, so largely, oh. yes, and of course you know it's water. Water is also there, right? Yeah. So basically, you are going to have what and what. Okay. Do you get that? Yes. Okay, so, uh, okay, so what is the, um, what migration do you suggest? Um, so at the anoid, which is the positive one. Okay, anode. So you choose anode first. Anode. 
positive electrode okay so which one goes to the anode um the chlor the chloride the chloride chloride okay the only the chloride um then it it it's um ox yeah it oxidizes how many negative electro uh, ions do we have here so one hello we have a you have chloride ion here and what uh huh so what did you say I was asking the number of ions, negative electrodes, negative ions that you have here. So it's one. Two. Chloride Two. and what? Hydroxide ion. Oh. Yes. So that the two. And the two of them will migrate. Because unlike charges what? Attract. The two of them will migrate there. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. So at the cathode, at the cathode, which is your negative electrode, uh, how many positive ions do you have here? Two, right? Yes. The two of them will what? The two of them will migrate there. Okay. And you see how it's slightly getting slightly mean similar to molten and slightly different. For molten, only one ion goes to each electron. But now the two will migrate. Excuse me. Now, because two ions migrated to each of the electrodes it brings in an issue a competition which of the two would the anode accept and which of these two would the cathode accept will the cathode release because the third step is called what discharge right that is the third step which is discharge of what ion discharge of ion so which of these two will be discharged now and which of these two will be discharged will be released from the solution that's what we we'll call competition between the ions both of them have migrated in each case so which will be discharged so we now have rules that guides the discharge of what ions we have rules that guide what the discharge of ions and i'm going to do that on this uh, next slide, now rules that uh, guides what the discharge of what of ions. Okay, so let's look at the rules. The rules that guide the discharge of ions quickly. Okay, so we have your positive ions. Positive ions. Can you remember your reactivity series? Um, so most of it in general. Most of what? So most of it. Okay, brilliant. So your positive ions are reactivity series, you know, uh potassium, you know, you don't need to remember everything for batting, but basically just just to, to note, we can have magnesium, you know, magnesium followed by your massit, your alu, alu, aluminium, followed by your zinc, followed by your your um uh, ion followed by your tin, followed by your lead, and it goes on like that. So we're just taking a few sample, okay? Then you have your copper, okay? You have your 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 silver, your gold, your platinum, the like. These are the positive ions. Then you also have your negative ions, okay? The negative what? Negative ions. Now in the negative ions, we have ions that are extremely very negative. Fluorine, most electronegative. You know, we have sulfate, sulfate ion, we have nitrate ions, okay, 
product uh, you have hydroxide you have your your bromide sorry chloride should be before bromide right chloride so we're just looking at the ones that you easily come across in your uh, uh, GCSE, uh, GCSE chemistry or your GCSE chemistry or your O level chemistry. Okay, chloride, you have your bromide and you have your what? Your iodide, right? Your iodide. Now, if I have a competition between sodium, okay, between sodium and hydrogen, both of them are migrated to a particular electrode, okay? Which one will be discharged? Meaning that which one will be pushed out of the solution? For I want you to look at it from the concept of displacement. Which one between the two of them do you think will be pushed out of the solution and which one will remain? Uh, so will hydrogen be pushed out because it's less reactive? Yes, basically. Okay, so is the will, will, will say ease of discharge. The ease of what? Discharge. The one that is lower can be easily pushed out, can be easily discharged. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I don't want to do further explanation so I don't get com com complicated. Because basically, oh, let me go into that anyway. You know that at your cartridge, at this cathode, okay, at the cathode here, what is going to happen to any of these positive ions that gets discharged? Will it lose or gain an electron? Um. Just remember your crown. What happens at the cathode? So, reduction. So, reduction is what? Gaining. Yes, can you see why I gave you those two points? That's how to take, so that you won't waste time thinking. Cathode, reduction, and reduction is what? Gain. So, any of these two will gain what? Will gain electron. Will, will, will so ever end up being discharged, will gain electron. Okay? So now what to look at? So which of the two of them can easily gain electron? Can easily gain electron? The one that is the less reactive. Okay? Because potassium ion, potassium want to lose electron. But what makes something a better is the ability to lose electron. So potassium, I mean in this case sodium, sodium will rather remain sodium ion than allowing hydrogen. To remain hydrogen what ion because sodium is more metallic than what hydrogen so sodium would not want to gain the electron band because sodium wants to always lose so if there is any one that needs to gain it will be the one that is less reactive so hydrogen one will be discharged so usually in your electrolysis okay of electrolysis of Aqueous compound, it will always be a competition between hydrogen and a metal ion. Hydrogen ion and a metal ion. So if the metal ion is higher than hydrogen, it is hydrogen that will be discharged. It's only in rare situations where your hydrogen will be discharged, I mean, where your metal will be discharged. If the metal is metal like copper, you know, that less than what hydrogen. Do you understand? That copper will be discharged. So just know that often your hydrogen will be the one to be what discharged at your what? At your cathode. You understand that, right? So it means here it is hydrogen that will what? Hydrogen that will that will be discharged. So hydrogen is the one that is going to do what? Gain electron. Okay, so let's show that hydrogen is gaining an electron. So it's going to be H plus, plus what? Minus. So what happened there? So it's going to be H. H. Because it's diatomic, so what do we have? Two, two, and what? Two. So this is what? G gas. Hydrogen gas that will be, that will be discharged. Hydrogen what? Gas. 
that we discharge the gas it comes out okay of the electrolyt electrolytic uh, tank okay so we have seen that now you can see two of them migrated okay but one will be discharged the one that is favored here is the weaker one now i mean i do ask you if you are a god let's assume that at this right now you're a god and you are the cathode which and you have two things you have you have the opportunity to save two things one is weak one is strong which one will you save the you will save the strong one. Yeah. Why? <laughs> so, um, you will be a weak. You will be a wicked god. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, you, you have to, okay, let's assume that you have, you, you, you have two people in a pit, a baby, okay, and a man in a pit. Okay. Okay, and you are the god to rescue. Which one will you rescue? Which one will you let out of the pit? Said the baby. The baby now, so hydrogen is a weaker one. Okay, well, maybe don't let me change the mind of you, of, 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 the, of the God. The yeah, baby, your own God will save the man, leave the baby. <laughs> so that's just on a lighter mode. So hydrogen is the weak, is, is the less reactive. So I'm just trying to make an analogy, a connection, okay, so that you can, in case you are working on your own, you can always relate back to the funny connections and you, you'll be able to easily recall, okay? So hydrogen, okay, uh, will be this hydrogen ion will be discharged here so hydrogen goes out as gas now let's go back to negative now we have we have a competition between what now hydroxide and what uh and chloride yeah okay hydroxide and what and chloride so our focus is okay. So which one is going to be discharged between uh, the two between the two of them? It is electrolysis of, and it has to do with halide. Okay, if the electrolysis has to do with halide, you need to always confirm whether it is uh, it is dilute or what or concentrated. Whether it is dilute or what concentrated. Okay. If the solution, just know that by rule of thumb, if if the solution, okay, if the solution is concentrated, okay, your a light, you know what a lights are, a lights will be what, will be discharged, a light will be discharged, okay, but if it is dilutes. Hydroxide will be what? We discharge. So most of the electrolysis you come across at this stage will be a competition usually between your halite and your hydroxide. Okay? So you look at the two of them here, there are several factors that affect the discharge of ions. Several factors. Position in the reactivity series concentration matters position in the reactivity series position matters number two concentration matters and number three the nature of the electrode the nature of the electrode and that is why in electrolysis like this they use inert electrode inert electrode inert electrode means unreactive ones electrode so that they will not interfere with the Reaction so that they will not be biased. The inert electrodes are all reactive, okay, and so they are what? They are they are all biased. They are all biased in the reaction, so they are not going to 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 exercise prejudice. They are not going to favor one over what another, okay. So we if we use inert electrode, 
you are only going to focus on position and work concentration. Okay, so that is the rule of thumb that you will need. Okay, like the rule of thumb that you need in this particular case, usually for your for your IG. That's your rule of thumb. If it is concentrated, your halide rewards are discharged. Okay, but if it is a dilute chloride solution, usually chloride, dilute chloride solution, then your what? Your hydroxide will be the one to what to be discharged. Okay. 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 So the, the order of the positive ion is very similar uh, to, to, to the reactivity series that, that we have. Now, having looked at that, let's now see if your hydroxide, if your hydroxide is the one that is favored here because it is diluted. You know when this is dilute, you have more water than what? Chlorine, than chloride. Do you understand the concept of dilute? Yes, but the chemistry again. Yeah, I mean, if you have concentrated chloride solution, okay, concentrated chloride solution, concentrated chloride solution, then it is your chloride that will be discharged. It's your chloride that will be discharged. But if the solution, if the solution is dilute, then your OH, okay, it's your OH that was that will uh, that will lose the electron. Your OH that will lose the electron. Uh, have you noted that? Yes. Okay. So now, since your OH is the one that is losing uh, electron in this case, what is going to happen to the OH? What's going to happen to it? So OH, okay, is going to lose one OH will lose one what one um uh, one OH will lose one electron, okay. So when that takes place, it's going to form OH. Okay, but basically OH is not is not uh does not exist. Whenever your OH is discharged, it's gonna form what water and oxygen. That's all it's gonna form. It's gonna form what water and what and oxygen. So in order to be able to form water and oxygen, we're going to be needing four OH. That means four electrons will be lost. Therefore, it's going to be forming two water and one what oxygen. Okay, two water and one one oxygen. So this is going to form two H two O plus what O two. Okay. Yeah. So that that's that's what will will happen there. Two water and one what and one oxygen. Sorry, I'm changing. So that equation is very key. Anytime your hydroxide is discharged, okay, it's going to form oxygen. So oxygen is the gas that will be released at the anode, while at the cathode, here you have what hydrogen to be released. So you need to 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 um, memorize this equation. Very simple. Whenever your hydroxide is discharged, it is four hydroxide we we'll lose four electrons to form two water and one oxygen. I make students sing that in class, okay? Four hydroxide, we we'll lose four electrons to form two water and one oxygen. Four hydroxide, four electrons, two water, one oxygen. Four hydroxide, four electrons, two of water, one oxygen. Four hydroxide, four electrons, two water, one oxygen. Piam. So anytime your hydroxide is discharged, okay, oxygen will be what? Uh, will be released as oxygen what? As gas, okay? Okay. Yeah, so that is what we have. Oxygen gas will be, what? Will be, uh, will be released, 
okay so remember what we are using here is what in out what in out uh electro in out electro so there are two possibilities here it's either your chlorine is discharged or your wine does is discharged but it was no condition under which your chlorine is what is discharged so chlorine is discharged when you have concentrated word elite. But if it is dilute, dilute simply means you have a higher probability of choosing, just like in maths, when they say you have 10 balls in a basket, nine white balls and one black ball. What is the probability of choosing a white ball? I mean, the probability of choosing a white ball is higher because in this case, Okay, white ball is more, so the chance of choosing white ball is higher. So when you say dilute, dilute means you have more water. So therefore, you are going to have more what? Hydroxide and what? Than chlorine. So the chance of choosing or favoring your chloride is what? And you favoring your hydroxide is higher. That is what I call home advantage. Home advantage. advantage. So hydroxide is what? Is, is favored here because it is what? Uh, it is concentrated. Okay, what I mean, hydroxide is concentrated. I mean, hydroxide is more because it's a dilute water solution. Okay, so having looked at this, your electrolysis here tells us that hydrogen is taken away. So let's go back to what to know. The last thing you need to know for this electrolysis is what will become of the solution. Okay, that's very important. What becomes, what becomes of the electrolyte? What becomes of the what? What becomes of the electrolyte? Yes, of the solution. So how do we know what becomes of the solution? Let's go back. We know that we have four ions: sodium and what? Chloride ion, hydrogen and what? Hydroxide what? Ion. But in this case. What was discharged? What, what was what was taken out of the solution? What was taken out uh, of the solution? The hydrogen. Brilliant. Hydrogen. So let's cancel the just look at my equation. Let's cancel it. Brilliant. What else was taken out? So uh <laughs> Hydroxide ion. Okay. Is that what you wanted to say? Yeah. So you need to pronounce it. Can you pronounce hydroxide ion again? Hydroxide ion. Pronounce it again. Hydroxide ions. Thank you. So hydroxide ion will be what? Will be will be discharged. Okay. Your hydroxide uh, ion will be what? Will be discharged. So, if the hydroxide ion is, is discharged, then what do you think will be left? Um, just sodium and chloride. Okay, just sodium or what? And chloride. So, do you think the solution will become more concentrated or more di or dilute? Concentrated. Good. The solution will become more what? More concentrated. So that's the idea. They will ask you several questions. Okay? They will, they will ask you several questions uh, uh, around your solution. Okay? Whether it's going to be more dilute or more concentrated. So, as, so eventually, you are removing hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. So you are removing away what? Water. You are taking away water from the solution gradually. It's sim a similitude of evaporation. So the solution becomes what? Concentrated, right? The solution becomes what well, concentrated. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. In this, my I think I I yeah this chloride, I just I should be down. Yes. I just I should be down. Yes, it should be. Yes. So this should be what chloride, bromide. Yes. Iodide. I some some people can put iodide here. Or put it somewhere here, okay? Good. So, but the rule still remains the same anyway. The rules remains what remains uh the same. Okay. So, you can see this now. 
the solution becomes what becomes concentrated. So apparently you have been able to do electrolysis of what electrolysis of dilute or sodium chloride. Electrolysis of dilute sodium chloride. So at uh, time will, okay, I'll just explain electrolysis of egg of concentrated sodium chloride. Electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride. So maybe when we meet again, uh, we'll look more into other uh aqueous chloride but then by then you would have got to 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 read i'm pretty sure with the explanation you've got it so far when we read other ones you you have a better understanding so when you come to class we can ask solve past questions on electrolysis or what of um, on electrolysis basically so let's let's we just look at um electrolysis of maybe um water electrolysis of water and uses of electrolysis Okay. So let's look at example four. Example four, that will be electrolysis of concentrated. Example four, we're going to be focusing on what? Concentrated. Concentrated what? Sodium. Sodium chloride. Concentrated sodium what? Sodium chloride. Okay. Sometimes they call this electrolysis of brine. Okay, brine, brine, concentrated sodium chloride, electrolysis of what? Of brine. So let's let's we have said it's concentrated sodium chloride. That simply means it is still what? Aqueous, right? It is still aqueous. So sodium chloride is going to split aqueous. It follows the same pattern. It's going to split into sodium. Okay, plus what? Chloride. Okay, and of course we know that water is there, so I prefer to let students put it by that, so that you know where that hydrogen ion is coming from. Okay, it's water in itself, but them just yeah, simple aqueous. So cool. can you see that we have four ions? We have four ions, two positive ions, and what? Two negative what ions? So the next thing will be what? What's the next step? Is it the no, movement? Yes, movement, which is migration. That is movement. Okay, migration of ions. So we have the cathode, which is negative electrode, and we have the what? The anode, which is positive electrode. So migration. Migration means the negative electrode, this guy will migrate here. Why this also migrates what here? Why? Unlike charges what? Unlike charges attract. Okay. So the two ions we have here would be sodium ion and what? Hydrogen ion. Why here we're going to be having two ions? That will be chloride and what? hydroxide so let's look at our positive electrode our positive ion we have said that if you have competition between sodium and hydrogen or as long as the metallic ion is higher than hydrogen what will be discharged it is the word hydrogen that will be discharged so therefore the hydrogen will be discharged here so that that will be discharged number three discharge of ions so hydrogen but this is a cathode. What happens at the cathode? Crow. Crow. What happens at the cathode? Reduction. Reduction. So that means that reduction is gain because we have oil rig. Oil rig says reduction is gain. Therefore, hydrogen ion is going to gain what? Electron, right? Hydrogen atom. But because hydrogen gas will be discharged, and hydrogen gas is hydrogen molecule, and hydrogen molecule is diatomic. So I'm going to multiply it by two. That means two electrons will be lost from two what? Two moles of what? Hydrogen ion. So we have been able to see here what happens. So sodium remains, sodium ions remain inside the solution. Sodium ions remains in the solution while your hydrogen ion has been re removed in form of what? Hydrogen gas. So let's see what happened between these two of them. 
negative ions. Two negative ions migrated to the world, to the anode. There's going to be competition between the two of them. Which one will the anode favor? Which one will the anode favor? This is concentrated. Normally, if you look at the reactivity series here, hydroxide ion seems to be the weakest. It's lower. It's the weakest. But because it is concentrated, chloride is more in number. Chloride is more in number. It is concentrated. So chloride is most likely going to... Okay, so let me just wrap, wrap this up. Okay, so in the electrolysis of concentrated here, okay, we have seen the migration, the splitting of ions, the migration. Now the discharge for the positive, for the negative electro, your hydrogen ion is discharged as what? Hydrogen gas. Now when it comes to the negative word, negative electro, you have your chloride ion, okay, and hydroxide ion. Because this is a concentrated solution, concentrated solution means that you have more chloride than what? Than hydroxide. More chloride than what? Than hydroxide. So that gives the chloride advantage. Ordinarily, it would have been the hydroxide that would be what discharged because hydroxide is lower in the series. But because chloride is small, it is concentrated. So it's like it has a higher probability of being chosen or being favored. I was relating it to a game when you go to play against another team in their home homeland. Because they have more people cheering them. So they, they have more advantage of winning. So in this case now, you have more chloride. So chloride is definitely going to work to be discharged. That's why I told you earlier that if you are doing electrolysis of halides and it is chloride and it is concentrated, chloride will be what? Discharged. Okay? So now chloride is going to be discharged. That is anode. Anode is what? Ao. Anode is oxidation and oxidation is loss. So it means that chlorine is going, chloride is going to lose an electron to form chloride because it's going to be diatomic. We multiply by two by two. So you can see here, Chlorine gas will be discharged at the anode. Why what? Hydrogen gas will be discharged at the world at the cathode. So invariably, we have been able to do our electrolysis for what? Concentrated sodium chloride. So like the fourth thing I showed earlier, what is going to become of the solution? Let's look at what will become of the solution. We have chloride, we have hydrogen ion, and what? Hydroxide ion. So what will become of the solution? How do you know? Hydrogen is taken out, chloride is taken out. What do you think will become of the solution? What? So will it just be... So, so chl chloride is gone. Hydroxide is gone. What do you think remains? What do you think will remain there? Sodium words, hydroxide. Can you see that? This was sodium this. Sodium hydroxide. Yes. So it means that the solution becomes what? The solution becomes basic. Because what? Basic, alkaline. So they can ask questions around that. They will not ask you, okay, the solution that remains, they, they dip red lipos paper into the solution. What color will it turn to? Right? Guys, they can make connections. You can ask you, what color will it work? What color will it turn to? It's going to turn, it's going to turn what? It's going to turn to what? Is it going to turn? Red lip pass paper. It's all that will turn into what? Blue. Blue. Yes, it will turn blue. You can see how they can twist question and bring it under electrolysis. It will turn blue. They can also ask you questions around tests for gases. They can say at the cathode. How will you test for the gas that is produced? 
So what is gas produced at the cathode here? Hydrogen. Do you know the test for hydrogen? So test for test for gases will be your assignment. Again, next time we are going to meet so that you'll be able to put this in perspective. So we are going to look for tests for tests for gases, hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine, chlorine. Okay. We want to include ammonia just for knowledge's sake. Five carbon dioxide. So I'm going to be asking you this next time we meet.